fellow charlatan. Ah, there you go. Nicely done, McKenzie. Talk about good short games. I play a lot of golf with McKenzie back home, and it is demoralizing watching him chip. Yep, there was the ball mark that it hit. Oh, that's still easily. He would make that putt for birdie, and this is really where he heated up Trevor. Birdie putt at 13. Yeah, well, he birdie 10, 11, and 12 before this. This, the bomb with perfect speed at the par three. Still uh, 146 there. Back at one. Rye is behind the flagstick. Dylan Wu, even better. That will peel back underneath the hole. Terrific shot. Here's a man who is one of the chasers, Dylan Wu. He's got a big mountain to climb, though. Being nine shots behind, but that'll help right there. What a birdie across the green at the fourth. That's also seven iron. Flatter ball flight. He's taking it on. Well, he is. This is his second best 54 hole approach to the green. Okay, got it in the left corner. What a three. With a dramatic second nine here at TPC Twin Cities, what will take place? As we see Dylan Wu now putting for birdie at the ninth. Hmm. He's been popping up on a lot of leaderboards lately. Jeremy, his brother on the bag. Nice team to watch. Over at 13 now, Martin Led. Oh, nice out of the bunker there. Three in a row. That's awesome. That bunker is deep. He was playing competitor Aaron Badley's putt. This for Eagle, closer to the cup. And Finau. He also did not get it to that pin location. So he taps in for birdie, first of the day for Finau as he moves it to 15 under. And up ahead at the par five, sixth hole, going forward in two. Hodges playing alongside JT Poston, and Poston watches another excellent approach, leaving him with this putt for Eagle. Hodgins putting the pedal on the gas early in this final round. He's no stranger to putting a good birdie streak together. Remember back when he won a few years back? Well, nearly getting close to 10 years in Hartford. He had seven in a row the last seven holes to win. That one where you saw Morikawa didn't win there. Right. Rom shot John 60 Rom. nothing on the last day. <laughs> Streelman for Eagle. Oh, looking good for Kevin Streelman. It's a 15 under par. Right, JT Poston coming down the hill here. He's going to need one of those special back nines, Trevor. Probably something with a two in front of it. Mm. Keep going. That helps. Nicely done for JT Poston. What a beautiful read, double break. The first three feet went to his left and then swung down to the right um and it maybe it just got a little bit it maybe wasn't his most comfortable shot how about streels what's going on here four under in his last three holes for kevin streelman right at 14 under 14 under is a tie for seventh now at the 12th the third for badly oh it goes in there's Andrew. the fist pump. Shot of the day from down there on that tide line. Going with the fade like he did into the par five sixth. What a golf shot. Oh, oh my. <laughs> Lee is dialed in. That left for Eagle oh, at 12. Shot of the tournament right there, Trevor. Wow. Beautiful. How about two eagles in the final round? <laughs> with, 
<laughs> With a five shot lead that, starting out. That'll help. Now he said after last night's third round that. Eagle three for Hodges at the 3M Open. Second time he's made two Eagles in a round. A short time ago, Luke List withdrew from Wyndham next week, and that put Dylan Wu in the field. He will be happy to hear that. This from 82 yards. Nice. Now Wu for birdie. That's a good round of golf today for Dylan Wu. 64. You can see what it means to him there with that huge fist pump coming into this week at 103rd. That's that's just a little chip with an eight iron from 148. Oh yes, sir. What a shot there, Colt, for JT. Chance to get to eight, 18 to 19 under. JT now from Hickory, North Carolina. Makes a birdie at 15 and 19 under. And Ian JT's dad also flew in this morning to surprise him. Such a huge break to just cover that bunker. Now a pretty straightforward pitch. Oh, is this any good, Trevor? Mm -hmm. Great control. Hey! Big putt for Hodges. That one went in with some authority. I'm sure it did. Coach loves it. Jay Sewell, the Alabama golf coach. And now two holes to play for Lee Hodges. Looks good. I mean, how about some of these pitches he's hit today? Yeah. Beautiful. Nicely done. JT Poston is six un uh, five under on his round today. Well, the top 30 players make their way there for the third of the playoffs. Up to 18. There's already been one eagle here today. Sam Stevens. Can Martin Laird do it? Yes, he can. 64 to finish. Oh, yeah. How about it? Absolutely. Lee Hodges is going to win for the first time in his PGA Tour career. The grinding is over with after this beauty right here. Nearly the third eagle of the day on 18. His wife, Savannah, his coach, Jay Sewell from Alabama. And he is fired up. Lee Hodges wins for the first time on the PGA Tour. Wire to wire, the first wire to wire winner in 3M Open history. J.T. Poston watches as Lee Hodges wins for the first time on the PGA Tour. With his good buddy, caddy Andrew Medley, celebratory handshake in Minnesota. He entered the week with a missed cut in three of his previous four events. What a turnaround for Lee Hodges, who becomes a PGA Tour winner for the first time at the age of 28. Thanks for watching the PGA Tour on YouTube. To watch another video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.